nice having this spindle true. I can uh, play around with some of this stuff. Let's have a close look at this indicator and I'll show you a few other things too. Okay, that's a Fowler version of the uh, Blake. And this is the first time I've played with one. It's going to take some practice. Um, I'll knock it out on the Y axis. I'm going to bring it back. Something like that. There's always a little bit of water going. Go the other way. Get it to settle down a little bit. I think that's about it. There's a little jiggle in it anyway. I'm going to have to move the tripod back a little here. Move the uh, knee. Okay. I'll move the knee up. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and move the uh, y-axis out. Okay, so the instruction manual says read the instruction manual, but it's not an instruction manual at all. So I guess you would want to look at the small dial. I'm running this at 200. They say you can run it up to 800, but um, I don't know. But I'll move the y-axis, and I guess you just kind of make it more better. Move it a little bit on each axis, I guess. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this one. I'm moving the knee a little bit. I think you move each axis a little bit until it gets better, or worse. Play with the knee again. Okay, go down. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's getting pretty good. Yeah. Something like that, I think. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. I don't know. I'll have to play with this thing. But uh, it's kind of nice to run the spindle on this. I'm going to make an adjustment on it and uh, I'll video it and uh, uh, show you some of the problems I'm going to run into there. But uh, it's really nice. The spindle runs true. Get the um, spindle bearings adjusted and I'll see how, how true it is. And then I'll decide whether I need to make a final adjustment you know, whether it's worth it or not. Okay, I'm going to back this off. Back this out a little bit. Okay, I'll get this off tripod too. Now look, move around a little bit here. Okay, this is uh, um, a UASA rotary table um, years and years ago I got this is back in the 80s and these things were really a great bargain and all of a sudden they did a huge jump in price uh, always been happy <clears throat> happy with this it's a <clears throat> 10 inch horizontal vertical uh, rotary table 
and I've done some modifications to this thing. One, one of the things I did was I knocked the uh, um, Morse Taper 3 center out of it, and then I punched it through the back so I could, uh, well, put things through it or lock things in in different ways. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Now, over here is my dividing head. And uh, this is that old brown and sharp one. And it's got that four and a half threads here. And I bought a, I bought a cheap back plate on eBay. <coughs> kind of crappy material. But that's the four and a half threads I cut with that bar, with that uh, bar, that homemade bar. I don't even know if it's still handy. Let me grab that. Look at that. Oh, I'll show you. Make your own tools. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I had to fabricate this uh, cutter here to do that. That's a really a deep thread. And you can see it took every bit of what I, what I have sticking out of there. Make your own stuff. <laughs> okay, so I can adapt this three-jaw chuck to the dividing head. Okay, well, I made this back plate so I can bolt a ring to it and also um, mount this uh, four-jaw chuck here onto that back plate with a little adapter. Then I have the, uh, the four-jaw chuck onto the dividing head, okay? That's really a handy thing. Three jaw and a four jaw. That would be nice. Okay. Now I got I I got this Bow Star collet truck on eBay with a, a D16 back. And um to buy a back, an import backing plate's 110 bucks. Um for the backing plate and it's the same backing plate as they sell with this bow star chuck see it's... so this will be okay uh i'm gonna mount the uh, uh i have to do a cut a groove and and do a little deal and and tap it and i'll be able to mount the four jaw chuck onto this <clears throat> and use this on the axis and weight the four jaw chuck this and the four jaw will work on the axles and weight now i'm also going to modify this plate here it already takes this so i'm going to modify it so it also takes this so i'll be able to put these three chucks onto the dividing head okay now, on this uh, use of rotary table, I've used this instead of a dividing head for years and years. I haven't had a dividing head. Uh, I have a small uh, indexing, hard inch indexing head, but this thing's uh, filled the bill. I've got the plates and so forth. But see, I can bolt that three jaw chuck on here. I have that three jaw chuck here. And I'm also going to drill this, uh, oh, I've got an adapter plate where I can put that four-jaw chuck on. Okay, I've already got that. And now I'm going to adapt that Bowstar uh, collet chuck to this. So I can use all those chucks on both this rotary table and that dividing head. Use both these in, in the milling machine the, uh, and the jig board. So I'm kind of uh, sharing the tooling. You know, I don't have to have separate chucks for this stuff. I just use adapters and stuff like that and save a whole bunch of money. <laughs> got to save money. And you got to save weight. How much more weight can I put in this little garage, you know? So, uh, oh, I was going to show you something kind of cool here. Uh, old tooling. Now, um... Uh, I would never show this some years ago, but this is, uh, you know, like uh, 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 machine shop tours, you see. Well, I'll tell you what, man, uh, back in the day, I don't know how it is now in Fairytaleville, but back in the day, you kept your secrets in your competitive, and I would never, never show this to anybody, but I'm going to show it to you now. Okay, you see this? Look at that. Slides in there. If I can get it in there, it's a nice tight fit. Look at that. And I've got some other pieces. Now, what I can do with this is um, I can attach an other 
uh, bearings and adapters and sleeves. I can attach motorcycle crankcases to this rotary table and machine every surface that's important on that crankcase, uh, like the cylinder uh, mount surfaces and stuff. Um, anything that's supposed to be in line with that crankshaft. I can put on this rotary table like a Harley Davidson cases and I can even inspect them to see how uh, how good the uh, angles and stuff are on the cylinders. Um, it uh, made me a lot of money back in the Harley craze days when everybody had to have one. Back when Harley Davidson ran an attitude, uh, ran, a, ran an advertisement called "Buy an Attitude." <laughs> I don't need to buy an attitude. I was born with one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna load this, and we'll be back. Thanks for checking it out.